Hey everybody, Grimer here coming at you from the new Pokemon Snap. Uh, we're doing another episode of this because I'm having a blast with this game. Alright, let's get uh, let's get right into it. Let's get right into the po uh, picture taken. So, the Floro, uh, natural, uh, Florio nat Nature Park. I, uh, I've been playing this a lot. On the day only, I don't want to progress unless you guys are watching. So, look, check this out. My research level, like down... Oh, ooh, ooh, it disappeared. Um, my research level... That, oh, I can't do it. Okay, in the bottom right of the screen. Max level, right there it says. Uh, I also open up a new path way that kind of takes, uh, goes kind of along the Bidoof's path and whatnot. I've taken as many pictures of this as I possibly, or on this stage as I possibly can without doing the night one. Let me actually go back here and, and show you what I got. All right, this has been, this has been, uh, I've been hard at work collecting as many photos as I possibly can get. Trying to max that out to get cool and new interesting stuff. But I haven't progressed, so I don't have anything else to do other than just scanning, and that sort of sucks. So check out all these pictures that I got of these, of these things. I got, uh... Uh, Scorbunny showed up uh, after I hit a certain research level. He showed up in various places throughout the level, too. He's just kind of chilling. Um, Ducklet, I got a couple good pictures. I'm missing the three-star one, though. Uh, but I'm going to go through these relatively quickly Quickly here. They, we got Tangrowth. I got him to show up uh, in a couple of different places as well. Grookey, I got all four of the uh, the pictures for him. Only one of them, though, do I have diamonds, so I got to work on that, get better pictures there. Uh, there's also Taylor got a couple of really great pictures. Missing the four-star one, though. Uh, Emolga, I'm missing the three and four star one as well. Getting that guy in mid-flight is such a pain. Uh, Vavillian, got a couple of good ones. I even noticed at the end of the level when I turned around, there's a green one behind me. I didn't even realize that. Helps to turn around every once in a while. Florges, I've gotten uh, diamond on all of them, but I don't have the four star yet, so I'm still working on that. Don't know how to get that one. Uh, Magikarp, obviously got a couple of good pictures from the two star one. I can't get close enough to get a good picture on, but I mean, I got it at least. Bidoof, my highest uh, highest uh, uh, point picture right there. Actually, just two Bidoofs chilling next to each other, staring at me directly into the camera. Pretty good, pretty good shot. Uh, Dodrio, obviously, still need a couple there. Missing it. Heracross showed up hanging on a branch uh, or hanging on a tree, and then I, I saw him later on when I took that Bidoof path that I opened up. Um, Wormpole, the the three star one I got when he was like he started rolling on the ground. I have no idea what caused him to do that. But I got him doing it. So uh, I managed to get a couple of pictures, and bam, that's why I got the three-star one. Uh, uh, Buffalant, I, I got a couple of uh, better pictures, especially at the end there. Three-star there. Hoot Hoot hasn't moved from that tree. Uh, there's Pichu also on the stage. Got a couple of decent pictures of him, too, periodically, and Comfy as well. And uh, Pidgeot arrived as well. Look at that. Two-star missing, and the four-star I'm also still missing. So I'm still missing pictures. I don't have all these yet. Swana as well. And Pikachu is from the tutorial, obviously. That's not in there. And then we're back to start. So that's where I'm at right now, okay? So now, one thing that I really want to get to doing, this is the reason why I'm going to start pumping out some of these episodes a little bit more frequently than the, my usual pace that I do, is uh, I need to get to the night missions, okay? The night missions are where it's at. So they talk about keeping an eye out for Illumina, Illuma... Illuminated Pokemon, basically. So, right here. Bam. Night. I have not done a night mission yet. You can see right there, it's never been done. We're going to do it right here and right now. I want to go see what kind of Pokemon are out here at night. Snap a bunch of pictures. And see what uh, see what I can get. I'm guessing there's going to be, obviously, nocturnal Pokemon out here at night. So, let's get to snapping some photos. First objective will be just to get pictures of them, period. And then we're kind of improving them. Alright, so... There's a score bunny right here in front. Oops, I kind of didn't get him very good, did I? I gotta watch their behavior, too. So, Bidoof's running off. This guy's just chilling. Just snoozing. Score Bunny is just chilling back here. I wonder what he's up to. These ones are all just sleeping. I'm gonna be scanning a lot to try to get this to do something. Oh, dang it. Right behind the... Where is he? He's still back there, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see you there. Tangrowth is here. He looks kind of crabby. Hmm. I'm going to be scanning, like I said, a lot. Oh, there's Caterpie. I don't have Caterpie yet. Oh, there's Murkrow. Oh, got that one flying. Something. Oh, this thing's glowing now. Oh, there's. Uh, is that pincer horn sticking out? Oh, that's pincer. Scan like crazy to see if I can find something else. 
There's a Caterby behind it. Is just a pincer just chilling here? Oh, wow. Okay, Torterra. Torterras are just snoozing here. That's a really good picture, Torterra. Any water Pokemon out there? Oh, there's there's that. Oh, there's an illuminated one right there. The Illumina. Oh, here's a here's Pidgeot again. Something has hit the water over here. Bidoof's in the water. There's more Swana. These things still react whenever I scan. Oh, what was that? Oh wow. Okay, well that was a really close picture, but unfortunately I didn't get it very well lined up. There's so much stuff. There's a uh, Hootoot up there. There's so much stuff to try to get pictures of. Oh, look at this. Wow, actually I'm not having trouble keeping pace, keeping up. Oh, look at these guys. These things are adorable. I wonder if that's going to count as Pichu or not. Because it's like it was focusing in on other things a lot. I hear Murkrow's freaking out back here. Oh, that was a good picture. That was a really good picture. Oh, here's Pinsir again. Pinsir's just chilling, walking around. Another good picture of Hoot Hoot coming up here. All right, let's see if I can't get a really good one of this one. I only got 11 photos left. That's probably as good as it's going to get. What else? Is that? Oh, hey, Combi. That's pretty cute. Combi's out here. I want to know what I can do with these Krista Bloom things. There's got to be something. There's too many of them around the stage for there not to be anything. Yeah, I know that. You, you keep showing me these things, but I can't do anything with them. Combies are pretty awesome. Oops. Oh, did you know? Okay, that was pretty cool. There's a score bunny chilling on top of that Torterra at the end there. That was pretty nifty. Just snoozing. All right, hopefully I got a, a couple of good ones there. I might have to do this again a couple times just to try to capture all of them. And obviously, the higher the research level that I become, the more it, it, it causes the Pokemon to interact and do different things. So, all right. Professor Mirror, take a look at my photos. Let me know what I got. All right, let's see. Uh, Score Bunny. Let's see, I already have a two-star one. I mean, some of these, this might actually be a better photo, but you can't see them completely. But, I mean, I might use it anyway. Yeah, let's, let's submit that one see what he, what he has to say. Bouffalant. Okay, I got a couple of these things. That one's pretty solid. Uh, hmm. All right, let's uh, let's let's submit that one right there. Tank growth. Do I have anything that's going to be better that's facing the wrong way? This one at least facing the right way. I don't think either any of these are going to be better than the one I currently have. Let's just skip that one. Caterpie. New Pokemon. Anything I submit here is going to be better than nothing. That's probably the money shot right there. It's facing closer towards me. Let's go with that one. Murkrow, another new Pokemon. Anything I submit here will be great. I don't know why this is two star and this is one star. I don't know what I did differently, but this one right here is our money. That's that one's pretty good too. But this is it. That's definitely the one I got to submit. All right, Pinsir, also a new Pokemon that I don't have any pictures of yet. I kind of like this one at the end. It's not quite in frame, but I'm gonna go with that one. <clears throat> All right, Torterra, also a new one. Great. Oh man, some of these were really good pictures. Yeah, see, it, the, like I was going for Pichu there, and it gave, gave me that one instead. This one at the end. I'm just sleeping. I mean, I guess I'll just pick the one that's best in frame. Probably that one right there. Swana. Okay, so there's this illuminated one. I don't actually... Okay, so the illuminated one is a three-star one. This one's closer, though. This is also a three-star. Oh, is that the illuminated one as well? Yeah, let's, let's submit this one. It's not very well framed, but, you know, like I said, it's the first picture I got, so. That's a pretty big picture. I don't know if that's going to be better than the one I currently have. You can't really see the Pokemon in it. Oh, a two-star Hoot Hoot, actually, out here. Let's uh, let's get the one where I'm as close up as I can get. That one's going to give me a ton of points. Uh, 
ducklet. This is actually a lot better picture than what I currently have. Pichu. Pichu sleeping is pretty adorable. Not gonna lie, that's pretty adorable. Um, that might be better than the one I currently have. Okay, so when he wakes up a little bit, you get a two-star. Um, which one do I want to try? Do I want to submit that one? Because that's pretty cute. I'll do that one. Try to beat the two-star one if I can. Grookey, I don't know if I really need to do this because neither one of them are lined up correctly. Combi's a new Pokemon. Definitely got to add that one. Right there, there's our money shot. All right, let's go talk to the professor and see what he has to say about these pictures. That's right, we did the park at night, pro professor. <clears throat> All right, score bunny. Oh, direction placement, it was close, but nah, no scar. I, I got uh, I got beat out on the pose and the size. I need to be a little bit closer. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Ah, that one's better though. That one's a lot better apparently. So yeah, we'll take that. Gladly. It's another. It's a diamond. Diamond rating on that. Caterpie, new Pokemon. That's what I'm talking about. And anything I get there is going to be better than nothing because I don't have a previous picture. Same thing here. Murkrow. That's a really good picture, actually. Yeah, that's diamond. Diamond rating right, right there. Pinsir, new Pokemon. Size should be pretty decent on this one. Yeah, it's almost max. I didn't get very well on the placement, though. I'll do better. I'll do better the more I practice. Torterra. That thing's a beast in the Pokemon games. Size is actually pretty small. Like, or It's not as good as it could have been. Like I could have actually gotten a lot closer. Try to get in its face next time. Size should be decent-ish on this one. Yeah, but the, pl the placement's terrible. If I... If I had got a better placement on that, that would have actually easily gotten it. Nice work. Size is good, but I mean, placement is horrible as well on this one. So yeah, the original one's much better. Nice work. Hootoot, two star, new picture for me. Add that to the collection. All right, so these guys are much better. The size is much better. Yep, I was gonna say, this has gotta be a better picture. Diamond tier right there. So I, I, I kind of was mistaken in my first video. I thought that the one, two, three, and four stars were like, how, the quality of the picture. No, there's four pictures for each Pokemon that fall under those categories. So depending on what they're doing, uh, it can either be a one star, two star, three or four star. So you have to get all four pictures of those Pokemon somehow. So that's, I kind of goofed that. I thought it was just like the better photos are higher stars. That's not true. The The better photos are higher quality stars. So you got your copper, your, uh, your bron uh, was it? Yeah, bronze, silver, gold, and then diamond. All right, Pichu sleeping is a oh, it's barely a better photo, but I will take it. All right, Combi, brand spanking new Pokemon for me. I wonder if Vespa Queen's in here, because that's what Combi turns into. Of uh, well, the female ones, anyway. Four thousand. That, that was a diamond tier. Wow. All right, sweet. That was actually a really successful run. Did, how much did I get level two? Because I'll go again. I'll go again this episode uh, if I if I need to or if I can. Come on, get there, get there, get there, get there. Oh, so close, so close. Well, I'm going again anyway because I want to. I want to try to get better pictures of this stuff anyway. And I probably missed a ton of stuff. This is my first time through. Thanks to the progress you made in your research, we got something to report. Oh, thanks. Now finally, I'll fill you in once the uh, your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Okay. All right, return to camp. I can't retry, so he must he must want to talk to me at the camp. He's got some research for me to be uh, told about. I took pictures and I've done good things apparently. Whoa! All right. <laughs> Something incredible has happened. Oh, they do have voice acting in this. Take a look at this. Here's a random hologram. The thing. Uh, when he got near that field of flowers, yeah, I picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. Also, source seems to be moving too, so uh, if if only slightly, I would suggest that we've what we've got here is an Illumina Pokemon. Well, that that uh that Swanna was glowing. Okay, so an Illumina, Illumina Pokemon. I guess that, that's the glowing ones. I doubt that it appeared by chance. I don't know what Illumina Pokemon even are. I'm guessing it's just the glowing things. 
so I think you should uh, be the one to investigate the area where the reading is coming from. Okay, so I just gotta go back. Yeah, Rita, you stay here. Alright, All right, so I gotta go check out the flower field again. I mean, I was just there. But I'm going back anyway because I gotta get more pictures at nighttime. So let's go for one more run in this episode and then we'll probably call it, oh, Illumina Spot. Uh, you know, let's, let's check out the Illumina Spot first. Let's go see what that is. Let's go do it. Let's go out, do some research for the professor here. Well, that's definitely where the reading was coming from. Mm hmm. Do you see or hear anything? I mean, there's the flower. Yeah, there's some weird glowy stuff. I'm not going to get cancer from this, am I? Is this radioactive material? Are these flowers radioactive? Kid's all excited. In reality, he's, he's, he's growing like a third leg. Six arms jutting out his back. Whoa, there's a there's a uh, mega, mega Yena. Is that what it is? Um, take a picture. Picture. Meganium. Yeah. What's uh? I'm supposed to scan something. It says I'm supposed to scan something, but I don't know what. I was trying to get a picture of it. Why? What is it? Oh, it keeps pointing towards the Megayenia, but I can't. I can't scan that. I'm trying to get this framed well, but I can't zoom in because he's so big. Okay, so he seems to like smelling these things. Is he getting this glow from those flowers, actually? I wonder if that's what he's... I wonder if he's getting this this aluminum... Uh, aluminum. Uh, this glowing effect from those flowers. Probably is actually. That's probably why he's like that. Basically, he's sniffing the herbs and he's getting all glowy and bright. Okay, is he is he leaving? Bye. Okay. That was crazy. So yeah, it looks like those those flowers I was saying earlier in this episode are saying that they gotta have some kind of purpose. That looks like they have a purpose. If I'm able to interact with those things, I'm going to be doing whatever I can to make sure I'm always interacting with them. Because I'm guessing it'll give me big points in the photos, so. 34 pictures of one Pokemon. Go me. Alright, so now... Can I not... Oh, okay. I was like, can I not select any of these things? Oh, I can only select the ones where it's actually showing it glowing. Alright, the number 29 might be my winner, actually. Yep, okay, so they don't really care about the Pokemon itself unless it's actually glowing. So, these ones, it's not really facing me. This one's just got its tail, its butt facing me, and that's it. That's also a couple of one-star ones that I got there. So, I, there's actually... If you, where's my where's the three-star one? I got four three-star pictures. I guess that's probably the ones over here. Oh, no, though. They're not the ones that are showing the Illumina glowing, so... I guess it doesn't matter about those. Okay, so let me jump. I think 29 I said, right? That was probably my winner. Oh, that one's pretty good too. Yeah, 29 is, is the winner. All the way, was that just a one star? Yeah, it was just a one star. All right, let's get that. Let's get the two star one in there instead. All right, Professor, look at this thing. Tell me what this is. Yeah. Nice work. 
not a bad photo. Diamond tier, I'll take it. All right, so what about the glowing stuff? Oh, that's a whole level thing on its own. Oh, there we go, I love level. Okay, so that counts at night. Okay, so that, that helped me get to level two at, for at night. Worth it, definitely worth it. All right, so I did that achievement there. Okay, got a new title. Oh, by the way, now that you've gotten that Illumina Pokemon info, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photo is squared away. I think you'll be happy to hear this. All right. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to click on that. Just back out of that. All right, so I guess i got to go back to camp because he's got something else to tell me now. Making progress in the game. Can't wait to unlock new levels, though, honestly. I've, I played through this level once at night now, but a lot during the day, and... I'll be happy to do a new level. Yes, you're back. That's right. That was amazing, right? Uh, wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? And was it saying something? I have no idea. All right, so what do you guys have to report? That's what I want to know. Moving on. That's what I'm talking about. It was an Illumina Pokemon, just like the Legends. Yeah, nifty. All right, so what about them? Anyway, tell me about these things. Okay, supposedly they saved Lantel from a huge disaster long ago or something. So the story goes, yes. Uh, Illumina Pokemon were also said to have the distinctive patterns. Were said to have distinctive patterns and to glow with unusual light. So they're, they're, they're big ladybugs, basically. Okay, so I'm convinced the events uh, in those legends really did happen. All right, sweet, awesome. I mean, who cares if they're glowing? What's the big deal? Okay. So yeah, what's the more important thing you're gonna mention? Let's pick up the conversation here tomorrow. Just tell me now, dude. I'm, I mean, he got my attention. Morning. Good morning. Yes, it's been like two minutes. Uh, did you manage to get some sleep? Sure. Yeah. Let's just say yes. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire lentil region. Uh, yeah, I thought that's why we were here. And no sooner had you arrived than we suddenly found an Illumina Pokemon. Great, I guess I'm, uh, I'm good luck. You think there's a connection? I can't be sure yet. Maybe he likes my camera. Okay, so they want, they want me to go out there and find these glowing Pokemon. Got it. Okay, these guys are Babylon. What's the point? <laughs> Yes, it's going to be more fun with me along the way. What What are you trying to tell me, though? Are you officially ready to join a research team? I thought I already was, man. I <laughs> yes, sure. Let's do this. Well? <clears throat> Can I not talk? Excellent. Am I mute? Well, then, let's make it official. With a team badge. Yeah, I got my first badge. How about a gym badge? Those things are way cooler. All right, sweet. Now I guess I'm officially part of the team. I thought I already was. I thought that's the reason why I was here. They even gave me my own setup inside the, the lab. I need a couple more things uh, ready first. Okay, great. It'll all be worth the wait. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, I'll, I'll head out and do some more photos, I guess, because that's what he's asking me to do. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on uh, the the nighttime route, I think, but I'm gonna probably have to wrap up this episode here. So, if you guys did enjoy it, though, please be sure to go down and smash that like button. It helps me out a ton. This is the new Pokemon Snap, so if uh, if you guys are interested in this, it is available on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, so that's where I got it. You can uh, just download it. That's what I did. So. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I will see you uh, next time. Thanks again for watching, and bye-bye.